Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to connect a 12 volt DC fan to the 24 volt DC utility port on the Neptune Apex using a 24 volt to 12 volt step down transformer. Stay tuned. we move from winter into summer uh, our focus will be switching from keeping our tanks warm to keeping them cool and one of the best ways to cool your tank is just to use a standard fan blowing across the surface last year I just had a standard uh, you know AC fan that I plugged in when I needed it and I turned it off uh, when I didn't need it and that worked fine uh, this year I have an apex a Neptune apex aquarium controller and I could get a little bit more advanced um, with how that operates, and I could have the controller turn my fan on and off for me. So I still had the option to use the AC fan that I used last year, uh, but that would have used up one of my controllable AC ports, um, which are in short supply. You only have eight of them on each power bar. They also give you two 24 volt DC controllable ports, and I currently have that PMUP pump in one of the ports, and I still had a free port available. Uh, so I decided to use that um, to connect the fan to. But that port puts out 24 volts DC, and this fan that I have here is only 12 volts. So what I'm gonna need to do is create uh, a sort of power supply or a power converter uh, to go from the 24 volts down to 12 volts. And it's pretty simple. You only need a few parts for this. Uh, so first up, we're going to need a cable to connect to that 24 volt port and luckily Neptune sells um, just a bare wire connector uh, for do-it-yourself projects such as this. So I've got the connector here which will connect into the apex and pull the 24 volts. Uh, of course we need to convert the 24 volts to 12 volts so that's where I have this little transformer and we'll put 24 volts in 12 volts comes out. So it's pretty simple. We just need to wire uh, you know, the power supply up and then have the output wires go to the fan. Uh, so this fan has a standard uh, like cigarette lighter type adapter on it. One of those utility adapters you find in your car. Um, and I was going to just cut that off and wire it directly to here. But then I found this adapter, which I think I'm going to use instead. Um, and I'm just going to wire the socket onto there. That way I can plug the fan in and out if I need to without having to rewire everything. So I just went and got this adapter here. So it's a pretty simple project. I'm going to go ahead and solder this up and uh, we'll see how it works out. So as you can see, it was a pretty easy build. And I'm gonna take this over to the Neptune now, hook it up and see if it works. Okay, so I have the fan 
over here, uh, just down into sump here. Um, of course, this is not its permanent home. I just want to test this out to see if it works. So we've got our fan, comes down the wire. Um, there's an on off switch on the fan, but I'm not going to need this because we're going to be controlling this through the apex. The fan plugs into this cigarette lighter adapter, which goes into our step down transformer, which then plugs in all through the black wire uh, into my energy bar 832. And it's plugged into DC utility port B, which is off right now. So if I come over to Apex Fusion, I've got this set up. Uh, fan 2 underscore 10, that is that port right there. If I turn this on, we heard a click and we could see our power's on and our fan is blowing. So I come over to the Apex, turn it off, it turns off. And I can control it from here. So I say we got a success. And then the last thing um, is to program this port. So if you came into here, it says that we're plugged into the 24 volt accessory port. You could give it a name. A control type is going to be set to chiller. A fallback is off. So if we ever uh, lost communication, it's just going to shut itself off. That's fine. Um, and this is linked to the temperature probe. So basically what this is saying is, and I'll probably play with these numbers, but this is where it is now. Uh, if my water temperature hits 80 degrees, the fan will come on and it will stay on until the water temperature goes back down to 78 degrees and then it will shut off. So I can go back to the interface here and yeah, so I guess uh, I've got it set up. I'm going to mount this fan uh, up here in the corner somewhere. That's where I had one last year blow across the top of the tank. Seemed to work out pretty good. So uh, hopefully this will do the trick for me. All right, guys, hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, any questions, comments, uh, please leave them below. Uh, and if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, uh, please hit the subscribe button. And I'll be sure to have some more videos out in the near future. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.